now, I'm not going to give it to you because you can figure. I know you can figure it out. I don't. Right. If yeah. I get going, we'll be in different, well, three different hmm. ways. And but anyway, um, the we'll test light works on the power going to the coil, but the coil has no spark. When I crank it over yeah. and jump the solenoid, yeah. um, and have it like you know the wire, the spark plug, or the coil wire that close to one of the studs on the motor, yeah. there's no spark. So I, I'm kind of thinking right now that maybe I have a bad coil. <laughs> I got a coffee in there for you too. I'll go oh. get it. And it's still warm. <laughs> yeah. You know. You guys must have already ate. Yeah, we did. We go there every morning for breakfast. Mm -hmm. How can you get a coffee and, and a breakfast for four dollars? Four dollars. Yeah. You can barely get a coffee at Tim Hortons for four dollars. No, what a time we had yesterday, eh? Mm -hmm. I like this. Yes. You know what? You know what it was? You know what it was? Technically. No, just you know what it was. <laughs> the shock doesn't move as much as we thought. No, I had to turn the air up on the air compressor. <laughs> That's it. We turned the air oh, up on no. the air compressor. <laughs> yeah, because it you had to help it. Yeah, well, yeah, I did. Like we had two or three problems, and we were mixing them together. But uh, it, you, know you had you had to help it. You to know get what? To go on. In, in all honesty, there was no problem. Just like you say. There, you know, it ain't gonna work because it's not working. All I needed was more air. <laughs> oh. But anyways, that's how you go sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Looks good, man. Mm. So, so you're thinking that you need a coil? I don't know how to test coils. I'm interfering in your breakfast, all right. Uh, I well, don't know how to test coils without actually putting them on and seeing if they fire. Um, when on we, the bench, I don't know how when, to test coil. When we did the race car, um, when we did the race car, this is just what happened. When we did the race car, when you when you when you're winding the winding it over, pull the wire off your distributor that goes to your coil, and ground it and see if there's any spark coming from it. Oh, you know that's mean? even more complicated than what I was thinking. Well, that's no complicated. You just pull the wire off and see the nice spark when you turn it over. You know what I'm saying? I think so. So when you're turning it over, you just take the wire off the distributor that runs to your coil and, and, and see if there's any spark comes out of it. Oh. And then if there's no spark comes out of that, well, then you obviously you're not, no fire is coming on your coil. Right? Because your coil sends the... Well, here, here I am oh, talking. Oh, the I distributor to... sends the... Signal to the coil. No, no. The no. coil sends the fire to the distributor. The distributor uh, distributes it, puts it in all the yes, place. Yes. So all your fire comes through the coil, goes into the distributor, and the distributor sends it through all your all your the spark plugs at that you know at that point. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So well, <laughs> according uh, according to the um, service book on this car. Yes. They have uh, oh, two wires going to the coil. One goes through a resistor yeah. for regular use to the coil, so it's not overcharged yeah. and it's uh, regulated. Yeah. And then they have another wire going that bypass that bypasses the distributor or bypasses the resistor and goes directly to the starter. But according to the wires hooked up to the key switch, it's only designed for maximum power to the coil when cranking over. So this, it bypasses the, when you're cranking over the motor, it bypasses the uh, resistor to give the coil a little more power. So it'll help start the car. So I hooked it up according to the book. Okay. But what I was going to do now with my test light was check to see if those two wires both have power coming to them. Okay. Um, well, do you know if the coil's got fire? The coil has no fire. How do you know that? I've already checked it. Okay. 
Um, I put the wire, the coil wire, right down here. Yep. It was a little closer yep. to that bolt. Yep. And I cranked it over by jumping it. Yep. And with the key turned on, yep. and there was no spark. So I unhooked the power wires. So you did exactly what I said. Oh. You took you took the coil wire off <laughs> oh, and, see, and see if there was fire. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, right? I did. <laughs> okay. okay, right now the key's still turned on. Yeah. And when I hook up the battery, and I go over here and touch this. There's the ground. And if I touch that. That is one, okay, nothing there on that one. And here's the other one, there. Okay, I got, there's my coil wire right there. That's a, that goes on what, the color, side. what color wire is that? Red. Red. Don't okay. pee it. And Red. down here, I should have power too. Okay, so that is the power going to the relay, or no, the, Relay, no, not a relay. Uh, what's it called? Don't matter. Um, <laughs> what's it called? <laughs> the resistor. It called, like in the book, it said run a resistor to the coil. So I did. And the resistor is getting power, and the resistor is good because power is coming out. But the other wire here that I just tested, this one right here, this red one. Yeah. No, not that one. This black, black one. Is they had originally when I came to this um, hooking this thing up, they had this black wire hooked on to the wire, the yellow wire going to the resistor, going to the coil. According to the book, it's not supposed to be hooked on there. It's supposed to go directly to the coil because that's the one that runs when you're cranking it over off the key switch. It's a special wire, so it bypasses the resistor to give the coil a little extra power while cranking. Because these cars had problems starting because they had a two-phase starter. Uh, they're old-fashioned, almost like a Model T starter. And the newer starters won't bolt on to this block. As far as I know, I could be wrong, but I don't think. But <laughs> all I know is I got no power going to the starter off the cranking wire, but that's because I'm not cranking it. I just got it turned on. But if you jumped in and cranked it while I checked that wire, I bet you there would be power there. So I think I'm getting power to the resist to the resistor. Is that resistor? Don't matter. No, not resistor. Uh, the re yeah, the resistor and the coil. I think I'm getting power. I think I got a bad coil. But again, I could be chasing. Um, well, a uh, wild well, goose chase here. Like um, I, like uh, it's like you yesterday with not enough air pressure. <laughs> we were blaming it on every single thing under the sun, but we should have really uh, hooked up directly to the compressor and bypassed the paint room. <laughs> <laughs> we and John, but, me and John, John went into the paint room and I went, psh, 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 turned it up a bit and, went, psh, 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 and the car went right up. Yeah, I, I was just thought that where, the, where it had no engine in it, I thought that the, the front should lift like the back. But it yes. didn't. There's, there's more going on in the back, like there's, or in the front, you got two control arms that you're lift, you know, there's more to deal with. Maybe the air, maybe it's not really the weight, maybe the thing just works at a certain speed and that's all there is to it. Yeah. But if you put 10 times the weight, it still works at the same speed. Probably. Anyways. It's kind of like uh, I went backwards quite a ways. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't like that, if you know what I'm saying. Wow. <laughs> I went backwards quite a ways. I've <laughs> never really been good at troubleshooting electrical problems when it comes to coils and distributors. And this car is uh, proving to be the same same situation. It's, it's, starting, to, it's starting to prove you right? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> that, yeah, right, that I don't know. Well. I'm kind of scared to check the other wire with you cranking but according Why? to the wire diagram the the black wire is supposed to go directly to the coil and bypass the resistor for cranking the coil for cranking the motor and yeah. have direct power to the coil through by bypassing the resistor 
So well, well you, I'll check. Okay, you go in and I got the, the batteries on. Yeah. I'm gonna hook this back up to the ground. You go in and crank and go over and. You just want me to turn it over? Oh. You got your coil uh, wire off. Might have to hook that wire back <laughs> up. The the this wire right there. That that wire right there has that's the uh, solenoid. Maybe that has to be back hooked back in before you can crank it over. And this goes right in here. Yes. Yes. Do you want me to hook it in? Uh, yeah, it won't spark or blow up or anything. Just <laughs> yeah, just push. It goes go in a little hard. But make sure you get it in all the way. And I suppose when I get in, you're going to ask me if it feels good. Uh, no, I won't. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> just push it. Just, I promise. I've already cleaned it, so it should make contact. It just goes in there. Okay, good. Now go in, and you've got the coil wire off right there. Uh, right well. Here. Oh no, the wires off the off the coil. Yeah, I got okay. the hot wires off the coil. They're hanging in the air. Okay. And well, well okay, yeah, okay. There, we won't, don't want that touching you had, anything. You, you had some heat going on there, didn't you? Well, it touched the ground. Yeah, okay. Don't do that and again. Well, there, that. I got power going to that right so now because the keys turned on. But I don't. Wouldn't that go to the power side of the coil? Yes, it does, and that's the side I got it hooked. I got it unhooked. Okay. It's just, okay. Um, okay, go in and crank it over. I want to see if I got power to this black wire. Is, is it, obviously this is supposed to have power when, when it's being cranked over. All right. Um, just turn the key. I can find it. Oh, up on the dash. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. Ready? Yep. Yes, I got power. Okay, uh, probably turn the key off. I did. Okay, good. Yeah. Hey, that thing, okay. That thing sounds good when it turns over. Yeah, I know. Like, you know okay, no, here's the no scenario room. that I have just discovered is it appears that the book was right. Black <laughs> wire has power when it's cranked over and that bypasses the resistor so the coil gets a little more power uh, to crank to give spark but the resistor is supposed to be there when it's running so that in case it happens to be charging a little too much it won't give the coils it's supposed to have resistors so they have two wires and both have power one has power all the time which is going through the resistor which is supposed to keep it at a certain regulation for the coil and the other one is the black wire that goes directly to the coil and it's only working when you crank it over because when you weren't cranking it over there was no power so it is hooked up right so and I got a brand and it looked clean where the spark plug wire went in like yeah. the coil wire and it should have it should have sparked when it was down in close to that stud with the paint chipped off it should have sparked and it didn't so I would say how many times you hit your head on that hood so far? Um, oh, this isn't bad. It, it moves. It, it's spring-loaded rubber mounts. Yeah. But anyway, I might have a bad coil. Well, hook it back up, and then... We'll oh, no, it's a bitch. To, it's hard to get in there. It's hard to get in there to get the bolts back in. What I was going to do is I've got two or three more coils here. If I can ground one out and hook a wire into one of these just to test to see if mm -hmm. I got spark at least. Um, if I got power to go into the coil, I should have power coming out of the coil. Yes, right? yes. And right now I got power going to the coil and no power coming out of the coil. So obviously I either got no ground and everything's cleaned up and it's bolted in there metal. So I think I got ground. So that means I must have a bad coil in there. And and unfortunately, that coil looked like brand new. And these look like they've been in, go to, come out of the junkyard. Well, you know But what, that one looked like brand new, but it doesn't seem to be working. That doesn't mean anything. You know that, don't you? What yeah. it looks like. Huh? Yeah. yeah you can't, no. We can't judge the book by its cover. Yeah, I've t on the student banker, I had some parts that looked like brand new that didn't work. And I had to take them off and put rusty, beat up pieces on. That, that worked. worked. I, yeah. I understand. Okay, so yeah, I wish there was some way. And how do you test that I don't to know. know if it's working without hooking it up to the car? Is there any way? I, 
I, I have no suggestions. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. We could Google it. Mm-hmm. That's the way to learn anything and nowadays. Like, I have quite a few. Jolene knows more than I do. And there's all, obviously Googling. a difference between 6-volt and 12-volt coils, isn't there? Yes. Some are marked 12-volt. Some aren't marked at all. But it'll, it'll still send fire. Should, yeah. Well, that one doesn't send anything out the spark plug, out the wire. And it's getting power, so it must be a bad coil. Um... Must be a bad coil. If that's what you're... you're now, your do, do coils have to be grounded? Like, when you have a hot wire coming in on the positive side and a negative going to the distributor, in spark plug wire, you'd almost think the coil could just float in the air because it's a complete circuit. It's a, it, mm. it doesn't, this doesn't need to be grounded. You're asking me all kinds of questions. I don't know for sure. <laughs> you know, people, the teachers in school used to hate me because I asked so Jesus many questions that I distracted the entire class and made it so that they couldn't even teach anybody. <laughs> they were so busy answering my questions one after another. Anyway, I finally did get to school. <laughs> but I haven't learned anything since. That's not true. That's well, true. I still don't know. What I don't know, I don't seem to know, ever. <laughs> and I have the same questions over and over and over all my life. I've been asking the same question. How do you check your coil? Well, you're going to have to reflect. <laughs> yeah. You're going to have to reflect. <laughs> yeah. You're going to have to reflect. Well, anyway, I put oil and engine store in the engine yeah. back uh, over the last couple of years. Plus, when I was cranking it over, I squirted some more oil in it. So I had... The spark plugs that came out of this motor were pretty good, but you could tell that they'd been in there for a while, so I put them back in. And I have a brand new set here that I'm going to put in after, yeah. but I know that when I do get it running with so much oil in the motor, it's probably going to foul, foul the plugs, plugs yeah. and I didn't want to ruin my brand new set. I might as well see if I can fire it up on the uh, oil on the older plugs first, and then after it runs or doesn't run, or runs for a few seconds and smokes, and runs on maybe five cylinders, then I'll take the spark plugs out and put new ones in. Yeah. But um, there must be an easy, like maybe I should already be cleaning up these posts, hooking up a couple of wires, yeah, yeah, and yeah. a spark plug wire, just to see if I can get yeah. a spark. Yeah, let's do it. I can okay. take them off for you if you want to have the rest of your sub. Well. Your coffee. We bring you something to eat and then, and then get put you ready to work. Okay. Maybe they're clean enough. Did you get the carburetor kit that Jolene sent for? Nope, not yet. But you got one done. You made one. Well, I um, made a couple gaskets. Okay. Um, I had to make the gasket that goes on this. Nice. That gasket with all those little tiny holes. Gee. But anyway, I made the gasket. And I was careful. I was, over the three carburetors, I was able to have one of each of the other gaskets that was usable. But um, I had to take the best parts from all three carburetors. And all three carburetors are a little different. So there's a chance that some of the air holes and whatnot don't line up. At, like, uh, I was kind of careful, but... Um, well, that's not going to stop uh, it from checking well, it. Well, it may fire. work, may not work. <laughs> this is, it can't work any worse than the experience uh, that I'm having with with the uh, coil. Yeah, I just took them two wires up on that coil, put the coil yeah. wire on it, turned over, and see if we get fire coming out of it. Okay. If there's fire coming out of it, we'll send it on to the distributor, and it can throw it to your to your spark plugs. Basically, um, that's what I'm thinking. So, do works. we think the coil has to be grounded um, if, to the body? Or is it a contained unit, like power in, power out, and spark plug? Maybe this can float in the air. Well, Maybe is, it is, doesn't. Isn't, doesn't it have a ground right on it? Like, no. Like, isn't it no, a negative and a positive? Yeah, but that goes to the coil. That That's power from the wiring harness. Mm -hmm. And positive, positive is car, and negative is distributor. I do know that. I've right. been told by some pretty smart people that you hook <laughs> the negative side to the coil goes to the distributor. Okay. 
And the positive is the key switch. Well, you know how to hook it it's up. It's the then. key switch. So you just don't know if it needs to be grounded or not. Right. We're gonna find that out in minutes. Okay. We're gonna find that out in minutes. Okay, I got my. That looks fairly clean. And since we have both wires here working, yeah, and they seem to be all right, yeah. I'm gonna hook both wires back up. The one bypasses. One bypasses the relay, and the other one doesn't. But the no. two wires come from the key switch, which have uh, the key switch operates them. One wire does not work when the key is not being when the car is not being turned over. So it's the that's the key switch's job. Your your stainless around your window looks awesome. Um, yes, and not only that, when I put it on, well trying to get it in place, I even kinked it in one spot and had to take it all back off and then hammer and straighten out the kink I put in it. Oh, there you go. And now. then I smartened up and calmed down and slowed down and put it back on and managed to get it in place without uh, kinking it. But uh, those kind of things, if you try to force it the least bit farther yeah. than it wants to go mm -hmm. without proper doing it right, uh, what do you, you get? A, what do you get? A, a Buick, a Buick convertible windshield in this thing? <laughs> uh, Fifty-eight. <laughs> According to some people, they said it's the same thing. Now. Wow. Maybe you should have bought the Buick one. It might have been cheaper um, <laughs> instead of saying nose. Well, it is the Buick one. Well, yeah, I know, but you bought it for a nose and Oh, that is on the positive side, isn't it? Need a light. Uh, I, I get yeah, no, positive side. I, I got that. Flashlight hooked, for you. It's hooked up on the right side. So, if... Okay, here's another question. Oh, no. I don't know if I can answer it. Okay, all. I just got power going to the coil. Now, do I have to have the distributor hooked up to the negative side for the coil to work? Or do I just need I, that I, I grounded? Would, I, I wouldn't think. Why would you do that? That's sending a spark to the core. Like, like, I should be able to ground this now and put a spark plug wire on there and I should have spark? Is that how it works? Or do I have to get the wire from the distributor to this? Well, that would, that, well the wire to the distributor is sending the fire to the distributor, is it not? I know. The oh. wire on the top. Because you're... Maybe. Hook it up. Okay. It's not going to hurt anything. I'd rather see it hooked up than not hooked up. I think. Okay. Because it won't hurt if it sends fire to the, the distributor. <clears throat> Did a nice job on that. Um, well, yes, and not only that, but I had to cut this post off here. Because this is this cap is here, yeah. and originally the cap's over here, and the radiator's flatter. Anyway, yeah. that came down when I closed the hood, and the post came down and hit that and dented it and pushed it sideways. So I pried it back up straight, and then I had to cut the post off so it wouldn't hit the cap. Well done. But anyway, it just misses. Well done. But it, it, that's that's all it has to do, isn't it? Um, Jim? Yeah, I know it. I don't want my cup. Yeah, I need that spark plug. Yeah, I I don't know if the um, I don't know if the uh, spark plug if I don't know if the negative side of the coil has to be hooked up to the distributor for this distributor to work. I know I, I know one thing, Jim. I am going to take a little bit of time and learn a little bit more about mechanics. Um, I am. Me and Joanne are going to do that air ride, ain't we, baby? Mm -hmm. We're going to make it work. And uh, that requires some wiring. And I think we just have to follow directions, do we not? And, and Jolene is sharp as a tack. So I'm figuring that I'm, I'm, go, I'm golden. Because we're going to have to Google it, really. Or not Google it. Read the directions and hook that bad boy up. Because I have no idea how to hook that air ride up. But uh, I had to put the bags in. Mm. Mm hmm. Well... Some, sometimes you don't need to know. Sometimes you're lucky. 
<laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> but you know what they say? You've got to be good to be lucky. Um, mm. You want me to turn that bad boy over? Well. It isn't going to hurt anything. I don't have the coil grounded. Why can't you ground it on the coil that's sitting there? Hold it on the coil that's sitting there. Oh, yes. You can do that if it has to okay. be grounded. Um, and, you, and, you, yep. and you want that going somewhere where you can catch fire coming off it. Like the bolt yes. off that right there would be nice, maybe. Okay. Wouldn't it? Okay. Um, I'm going to go and turn that thing over for you. Actually, just hook it up. What? I already, oh, the key's on. on. No, I turned it off. Okay. Yeah, hook up the battery, I guess. Oh, you tore it. Hmm? We'll just wheel her over slowly. Uh, okay, now. Yeah. So you think there should be spark coming out of this? If there's, yeah, there got to be to, to send it to the distributor. Or do we have to have that ground wire or that negative wire hooked up to the distributor? Well, well we're going to find that out. We'll do it this way first and then okay. we'll hook it up. Yeah. Trial uh, and error, man. Trial and error. Yeah, uh, okay. All right, here we go, brother. Yep. What a nice looking dash in this thing. No spark. Okay. And I'm grounded on that, maybe. Yep. Yeah, it should be. It was tucking. Yep. I'm sure if it... If it needed it, it would. Hook mm. the other wire on. Let's try it. Yeah, this, yeah, pass me uh, the 3 eighths wrench. Oh, the little socket. You want socket? Yeah. Right, this one here, this uh, one? Nope, nope. That's um, it. Yeah, that's it. That's a bag yeah, of Christ's sake. hard spot to get at down in here to use a wrench. Well, yeah, some people. Well, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta turn it over, man. That's a good thing. That's yeah, a, it turns that's, over. That's a big start. Yeah. Um, Should be taking off the, uh, the ground area. I'll just take that off. Yeah, I... Keep going. Some of the basics, I'm afraid, I, I don't know. But... Um, well, you know what, Jim? You're, you're a man to admit it. Yeah. Right? Okay. Now... You're a man to admit it quite a collection of those okay this is the this thing doesn't have points it has uh, electronic ignition and there's the red there's the hot wire that comes from the distributor okay and I got the other black wire coming from the distributor because this system has a bra bra ground you hooked got, on to right there to the ground yeah you've got two so. walls two wires on one side of that coil uh, yes, because one's for cranking to bypass the resistor, and the other one, according to the key switch, operates the coil. Okay. And they both have power, but one only has power when it's cranking, and the other one has power all the time when the key's turned on. Okay. So it should be working the way the wiring harness explains it. Um, well, you've got lots of time to get this thing going. Maybe done. not. Oh, winter but to get this thing be. going, right? Well, I don't really want to spend all winter trying to get this thing going. No, I understand that, but <laughs> <Yeah>. I mean... <laughs> 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 well, yeah. I have a sense of humor, but I do run dry at times. <laughs> well, what I'm saying is you're not going to be running around the field to win the winter time, so we can, you know... You're not going to run this thing around the dooryard until next summer, are you? Uh, oh, if I get my... If my tractor runs... Yeah. Um, if the tractor runs, I'll be plowing the driveway a little bit, and all. And if this thing runs, I I could easily drive and spin circles in the snow and hit some snow banks and use the tractor to pull it out when I get stuck. I could have some fun. Oh well. Wow. If it runs. Okay. Well, there's the distributor. Is hooked up. To the coil, the coil wires in. And the distributor and the positive side's hooked up to the key switch. Yeah. Uh, and I'll ground that back on that shaft. Yeah. And, okay, so. Are I, you ready? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. I find it hard to believe. It might work. Find it hard to believe, he says. Da, 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 da. Here we go. <laughs> 
There doesn't seem to be still any spark. Want to try again? No. Okay. No, uh, there should have been spark if there was going to be spark. So that's number two coil that I've checked. How many coils should I go through before I determine that I'm doing something wrong? Oh, Maybe a dozen. A dozen? A baker's dozen. <laughs> no. Because um, that's... Is there any other possible way that them wires can be hooked up? On top of oh, the Oh, yes. Well, let's try it. Um, Don't get anything smoking or anything, but yeah. why not try it? What's it going to hurt? Well... Your feelings? Um, <laughs> hmm. Actually, the only thing... Because I know if you hook them wires up wrong on that uh, coil, it will not fire. Well, I got the key switch hooked to the pot positive and the negative going to the distributor. You would think that's as simple as that gets. And I'm sure I had that grounded on that bracket that bolts onto the motor. Well, you know, I just try it. Try it one more time. Okay, here we go. I'll make sure I get that scraped in there. Okay. If there's spark, there should be spark. Then, then you're gonna get spark in the distributor. No spark. And that coil was definitely hitting that. If it, it was definitely hitting the ground. So, okay, that's. Mm. Like, not. I don't. There's not many times that a coil goes bad. You know um, I, I, no, yeah, I did not, no, and, and I got power going on the positive side, wires come from the key switch. I understand that. With the, with the test light, I had power on both those wires. One, when you cranked it over, according to the wiring harness, that's the one that bypasses the Have you, have you tried, system. have you tried it the other way? One other way. Well, switching the wires over across? Well, I can just just leave one off, one wire off, but it's got to be hooked to the positive side. Okay, well, because the positive side goes to the key switch. Uh, that's one fact I do know. The negative side of the coil goes to the distributor. So you're not willing to switch the wire? Try. Uh, <laughs> well, mm, I can take one of these wires off, maybe for some unforeseen reason it's it's backtracking but um okay that hmm yeah i wow you know it's you, a person can look pretty impressive when you do something you know what you're doing and other people who aren't too sure and it's success but when you're doing something that other people know what's going on and you don't, um, like this, it doesn't make there's people all over the world that have spent years, uh, years, a long time ago. By the time they're like 15 years old, they understand more about these coils than I do. You know, and here I am um, trying to test it out and basically. You want to try it? Um, yeah. Ready? Just a sec. Yeah. I'm trying to hold this little black wire away from everything so it doesn't. Okay. Cross your fingers. Cross your fingers and toes. Hope I don't get a shock. No spark. There doesn't seem to be spark no matter what I do, no matter how I hook these things up. First thing I do is crisscross them. Yeah, I know. I can show you right in almost any any um, coil distributor wiring harness information that the negative always goes to the points okay. on the coil. Okay. And that's the only fact that I'm running on here is the negative 
side of the coil goes to the points. I don't think you're supposed to hook the coil up backwards. Well, I've got a couple, well, you're probably not, but let's, let's face it, you're not getting no fire out of it. That's the thing I would try. Hmm, I know. Because you might, you might be reach, using the wrong wire, who knows? Well, that's the negative. And that, yes, it says negative right there. So I, I did have it hooked up according to negative goes to the points. Yeah. And it didn't work. And there's no corrosion in there, and that went in there nice. Well, that doesn't like that doesn't mean this coil is any good. Same as the other coil is any good. But to but, me, to me, like the what did I say? You said the negative goes to the points. Yes. Well, you haven't got no fire going to the to the coil yet, so you can't have no wire going to the to the points. You know what I mean? Mm. So basically, what I'd be try, I'd be trying that wire on whatever you know the wire that's coming out there. Um, I don't know from the key switch, I guess. And say, yeah, there's no um, fire. Yeah, so it doesn't matter if the the distributor wire is hooked up or not because you just wouldn't be sending any fire to the or to the distributor on from the coil. But you you need fire going to this first to send it to the distributor, right? If fire goes to that first, that sends out the big fire, and that sends the fire to the distributor, and the distributor distributes it to each spark plug. I know. I know. I know. But maybe the coil. Or maybe the distributor acts as the ground for the coil, so it generates the power. Probably. Now, yeah, that sounds about, yeah, okay. Then. Maybe it's that red, no red wire going to my... I'm in a conversation Maybe there's no red win. wire going to the <laughs> points. Or maybe there's no red wire that goes to the points, which is actually electronic ignition. It's working. And that's why this is working. Yeah, but the fire has to come out of that to go into that. So it doesn't yeah, matter. Maybe it gets its ground through the coil, through the distributor, and that's why it makes the circuit, which generates the power for the spark plug, or for this. It probably, maybe. maybe it goes in here and has to come out here to ground to come out here as spark. Okay. And if this wire is broken, like if I just hook up power here and ground it, yeah. it probably does work. Probably. It probably has to have that negative wire go to the distributor which does its thing, and if it's not doing its thing, this isn't going to work. So maybe it's my, this has electronic ignition, which I know nothing about, but I, I left it alone, and maybe it's faulty. Well, maybe this wire is not connecting through, and maybe just one wire to the coil and ground it, or not ground it, isn't maybe enough. Maybe that negative has to be working. Maybe it's in my distributor, it's not working. I wouldn't make it, I would, yeah. I wouldn't, Maybe I would, there's I would, a little red wire coming from the distributor. I don't think I would attack the distributor to fix that. I know, I just but Googled I think it. maybe. What's that, I just Googled it, Yeah. and it says ignition coils tend to fail <clears throat> because of bad spark plugs or plug wires. Ignition coils. So. Fail because of bad spark plugs and bad wires? Yeah, plug wires. Mm. No? Uh, well, we can. We're not getting no fire out of the coil, so. Hmm. It, you know, I, I, um, I'm sure there's uh, people that can answer that question very, very quickly. Well, it's going to be on the internet. You'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> but I, this does have a, like a, aftermarket electronic box in there instead of points yes which has like a wire coming off it yes so i left it thinking that oh good yeah and there's the red wire that goes to the coil because the other one's a black wire there's two wires coming over my distributor a red one that goes to this little box up by the um rotor button okay and the you, rotor button you isn't a rotor button. You don't right? want to switch, you switch. Can you switch them around on your coil and mess with it that way? Well, and the other one looked like it was a ground wire. And I asked one guy, I said, there's two wires coming out of it on electronic condition. One's red, one's black. Yeah. And the red one goes to a little box up on the part that looks like a rotor button. Yeah. 
And he said, well, that sounds like power. And the other one, the black one, goes to ground. So that's how I got it hooked up. But when I hook it up to the coil, nothing seems to be working. So maybe that electronic box is why, not working. Why, why don't you switch it around then? Why don't you just try to switch it around? What's it going to hurt? Um, maybe. You're not getting no fire now, so it, it's not hurting anything. If no. you switch it around, if... if, if I don't have a serious... I only put one shot, one quick little shot of gas in it yesterday okay. and cranked it over and it didn't fire. Well, you've got no fire, obviously. Like, yeah, you just that. so it won't blow up on me. You know, it, no, it, I, I would switch no the gas. bars over there, you know, just... For me, I would, you know. You know what it does, if you switch it over and it doesn't work, it just kills that cat. That cat can't be thought over again because it didn't work. Mm -hmm. If you switch it. If you don't switch it, you never know. Wow. <laughs> I know. Oh, I know. Um, That's how I work that, at it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I know that you're, you're consistent on what you're saying. Well, what you're saying is probably 100% right. But if you don't, if you don't try, you'll, you'll never know. If you don't switch those wires around and just try it, you'll never know. If you're not getting no fire out of it now, you're not going to get no fire out of it the other way. And it's not going to hurt anything. And when I test, like, my key switch wires, I got power there going yeah. to the coil. Yeah. And nothing, nothing out. I, like, both these wires, one works when it's on and the other one works when you're cranking, just like it says in the owner's manual or in the book. So it appears that that's right. But the wire on the negative side of the coil going to the distributor seems to be the culprit. But I don't know if I want to take the red. The red, there's two wires coming out of the distributor right now. What would a it red be? wire and a black wire. What's it going to hurt if you hook it up wrong? You're just not going to get no fire. It ain't going to hurt a damn thing, is it? Not hurt a damn thing if you just try it. If you know what I'm saying. If you got no fire now and you think you got it hooked up right, if you hook it up wrong, you're still not going to have no fire and you're not going to hurt anything. But you can kill that cat if you if you try, right? If you just check it, if you if there could be some way the words backwards or whatever, you know what I'm uh, saying? You're not going to get no, you know, if you got mm -hmm. no fire now, and if you just hook it up wrong, you're probably you're still okay, not going to um, get no fire. Okay, I'll un unhook the ground, and then just try it the other way, and then you'll have you you have killed you have killed that cat probably. Yeah. You know, not that we want to kill cats, but. I'm calling a cat an idea. That's the cat's name, idea. Jolene's going to fix it by using her phone. And it could be totally wrong, but you're still not getting no fire, so it can't hurt anything. Other than your pride. <laughs> well, no, I don't have any pride. <laughs> you don't have any pride? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that means no. no one can hurt your feelings then. Uh, well, I have... A little bit of pride? No, I don't actually have any pride. Too busy trying to contemplate and figure out problems. Then I... Well, Jim, I think you got a little bit of pride, man. You took a, a red paint and you painted that Ozenbill rocket on there. That's pride. You took pride in it. <laughs> You've got pride, brother. You've got pride. Might be easier to take the air box off, but I I got the screw loose, but it uh I got a few screw looses too. Mm. <laughs> like I, I got the wire loose in the screw, but the screw decide is turning uh, plenty hard. Your grade just got the same kind of heat mine does. This air, this uh, this is kind of cute. Um, that's aluminum. Alumni. Uh, aluminum. Anyway, uh, here, um, this was flat, and the, the air breather sat right, way up in the air and wouldn't reach the screw. So I put it over an old brake hub and hammered it down so it fits down over. Jeez, I of course, this is way too big opening for this uh, Rochester, yeah. so I built this adapter to, that fits on 
to take this five and an eighth inch because that's four and a quarter. Well, holy Because uh, I didn't have an adapter. I didn't have another air box with the right size hole. And you made that with so a torch? So I made, I made this. This is just an old flange that I cut and then welded it all back bag. together. Oh, well, you cut it all up. Yeah, all the, and I notched it and made it fit. And then I bent this all over shape to make this go on so wow. the air breather fits down and it actually reach to, reaches to the knob. Well done. Quite a bit of work to make that work. And that's aluminum. Like it hammered nice. Uh, you know what? I just tap, 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 tap. On on the on the airbags, that aluminum cover, that field that went down over top of the airbags, it had a little dent in it, so I was just playing with it a little bit. And I never played with much aluminum, but man, it's something nice to play with, isn't it? Like oh, this. that. Just tap, tap, tap. And yeah. I even had it out here too far. Yeah. And the air breather's too fat. So I went back over and hammered it back in so the air breather would actually, because I had this over here. Yeah. And then I hammered, tap, 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 tap. And it, it bent like silly putty. Yeah. You know, it, nice I, I nice to work with. I think I'd like to try Like to sheet metal it. isn't like that. No. Sheet metal, it works against you. Every every hammer or everything you do, it, it works against you. But aluminum is, aluminum floats. It's almost like, uh, well, in my old house in, in Berwick, I put curved gyprock on a curved ceiling. Yeah. And I had six or seven coffee kettles steaming with uh, this piece of gyprock, four by eight piece of gyprock sitting on a couple sawhorses. You steamed it? And I steamed it from underneath and curved it. And then unplugged the kettles when it got the right curve and held it there for a few minutes and then very carefully carried it up the stepladder with uh, the screw gun jammed in my belt and uh, up on the ceiling and then grabbed the screw gun and put the screws in and I curved it with steam to make it curved to fit on the roof. Well, that's how easy it is to work with aluminum. You know how I would have done that? Oh, there must have been easier ways. It was a bitch. <laughs> I had to do like six or seven sheets that way. I, I would put the sheet down, cut a bunch of lines in the backside, and then she'd open up. Hmm. Do well, you know what I mean? the only problem with chip rock, though, if you cut one side and then go and pick it up, it breaks. It loses all its strength. Like the paper on both sides is what holds chip rock together. Oh, yeah. And if you cut one side, it's got no strength, and you just touch it and it breaks. But anyway, I steamed it, and curved it, and then made it fit the windshield, fit the roof, and then let it dry, and then carried it up the stepladder and put it on the ceiling. And it worked? And uh, Yeah, it worked. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. And I did one room, and the other three rooms in the upstairs of the house were never finished. And the, pre and the next guy that bought my house, he, he didn't do that. He put a lower ceiling in flat. Ah. He didn't do the curved ceiling. It was too much work for him. But the one room got it, got it. I need a Phillips screwdriver to take that little screwdriver. Well, uh, we're hooking up the ground to the positive or, and the positive to the ground to test to see if the distributor wires are backwards. Yeah, to kill that. Thinking cat. that black is power and red is ground is what we're doing. You never know, man. But uh, seems to me it doesn't work. Like, I know the black. Forget what you know. Just try what we did. The red, <laughs> the red bar in the distributor came from the rotor button area. You know what I'm saying, Jim? But it wasn't a rotor button. It's an electronic thing. Forget what you know. We're going to try what, you, what we what we haven't tried. Okay, well, there, there's the two distributor wires right there. Red Go for it. Switch them. See what happens. Not, we've got no spark and nothing before, so it won't hurt our feelings when there's no spark this time. Will it? Well, it shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. It won't hurt our feelings this time either. You want me to hold that? Oh, no, I'll just sit over here. Okay. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> You know, um, this scenario reminds me of yesterday's. Scenario. Yeah. 
yeah. Different. <laughs> so it's now it's on me, yeah. and here we are. But it's the same chaos. It is, yes. It's kind of like the stars are all going backwards, and <laughs> the sun's going down in the morning. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> like God, it's like, no, like that movie, um, The Dead Don't Die. The um, the wor the world has shifted on its axis. Well, it, it's done. The that zombies are going to take over. Well, I don't know about that. Okay, so uh, I guess if we're hooking this all up backwards, I need that little Phillips screwdriver. Screw yeah, I mean, hey, why not? You got no fire now. Yeah, that's the way I look at it. Can't stop trying. It's not how many times you fall. It's how many times you get back up. Oh, I did put that Phillips screw down beside all these other Phillips screws. I wonder yeah. which one's the one I'm supposed to be using. Now it's, now it's called... Whole pile of Phillips screws and I just laid that screw down right amongst all these other little stupid little Phillips screws. <laughs> now yeah, I think it was screw. this one. Fine thread. Mm, yeah. Okay. He's on Sesame Street. Okay, so we're hooking up the red distributor wire to ground. I don't know. It doesn't <laughs> sound right. Does it? Does it? No. And not only that, but that red wire came from the rotor button area. Not that it, it didn't have a rotor button. It had kind of a, a little square box. Well, yeah, you got no fire. Might be the wrong screw, but it's going in. <laughs> it's going in actually better than it came out. So well, maybe I had the. Well, you know what you can say though if someone comes in and gives you a hand. Yeah, I've yeah. tried it both ways. Okay, red is hooked works. up to ground. There's the black wire. Yeah, and we're gonna do this again then. Okay, negative. I know not to hook the coil up backwards. Um, the negative has to go to the distributor. So that goes on there. Why are you both, why are you screwing two distributors going on there? We you get two distributors. Uh, this one I'm assuming is bad. Maybe not, but it's hard to get oh, out the screws. Oh, okay, I got you. The screws are way back there. Yeah. It's a bugger to take those two bolts out to take this gotcha. off. Gotcha. You had to reach in there with a the wrench. Mm -hmm. So to save time, we're using this coil. And since none of the coils seem to work, it won't, won't make any difference which one we use. be different if uh, we knew for sure which coil, if, if we knew this coil was no good, we wouldn't be trying it. You got that right, but we don't know that. No, we don't know that. And here, uh, I don't know, I'm hooking up both wires, like they said in the book, On the whether side. I should be or not, I'm not really sure. Well, you had no fire coming up before. I can't see it hurting any other than you've tried it both ways and you've got no fire. It's very important when you have one of these little tiny nuts in your hand in these predicaments like this over top of the motor that you don't drop it. Really? If you drop it and it goes down in there, you need another one because you won't find it. <laughs> <laughs> When you have motors apart and you drop something, boy, you have to accommodate. Where did that go? You do, don't you? Be yeah, it's crucial. Like it, when everything's together, it doesn't matter if a bolt drops there, but you don't want anything dropping down in there. I was going to say, you should put that together over top of the carburetor. Yeah. Yeah, it's bad <laughs> enough that I'm even beside it. Okay. Now, okay, we got... We got it hooked back up again. You got it hooked up backwards? It's hooked up backwards. Good. And I'll ground that on there yeah. and I'll hold this. I'm going to put the battery on. Okay. And I'm gonna go I don't think it's going to work. Well, that's fine. It didn't work the other way either. Nope. <laughs> but we're running out of options. I can accept if it don't work. Running out of options. It's just that we tried both ways now. <laughs> now no spark. All right. Okay. That, that killed that cat, so... Um, for some reason, uh, you know what I think? What? I think the CDI in the distributor, where it used to be points originally, and someone put this blue box in there that's all electronic, yeah. I think it's malfunctioning. 
Well, that was the minute now. And if that's malfunctioning, it means that the coil is not going to send a signal because it's not grounded. No, just a minute now. Just a minute now. Or am I totally backwards? No, the coil sends the fire to the distributor. So don't blame the distributor on the coil. You can't blame the distributor on the coil because the coil sends the fire to the distributor. And I don't think there's anything inside that coil. Oh, and the power to the power side is just the pickup for the coil. Well, the coil sends the power to the distributor. You can't, I wouldn't blame oh. the distributor on the coil. So you really have to get fire coming out of that coil to expect the distributor work. If you know what I mean? The distributor is what's got all the power, all the sending all the power, and the, and the coil just sends it to the spark plugs, you know, distribute it. So, but you can't, I, don't, I wouldn't blame the coil, the distributor on the coil. I think I would oh. try to get the coil firing before I went and blamed the So, coil. in other words, uh, what you're saying is I shouldn't even need a distributor well, you, for the coil to work. You shouldn't have to, I, do, I wouldn't think. I mean, maybe it, it gets a ground out of it, maybe. Maybe you get a ground out of it. Out of the out of the distributor, but maybe you, I, you need to get co fire coming out of that coil before you start messing with the distributor. Maybe okay. Yeah, here's the distributor. Yeah. Um, so, I'm hooked again. Now but that's the exact same thing we had with the hop. When we when we were doing the hop, we pulled the, the the coil wire off. It had all kinds of fire, but it still wouldn't start. Well, we didn't. We didn't. Pull the coil wire. We pulled okay, the coil yeah. wire off. And when we tried it, turned it over, it had all kinds of spark, okay? But the engine wouldn't start. Well, we figured that it had, had had spark, but no, the distributor was not sending the fire, distributing the fire to the spark plugs. So I would not blame the coil, or the distributor, on the coil. I would try to get fire to the coil and then go to the distributor. Does that make sense? Because mm. that's where all the fire comes from, is that little bad boy to your coil. And that sends it to the distributor. What would happen if we took the negative side of the coil yeah. and ran a wire and hooked it to ground? Try it. What's it going to hurt? Like, you've got no spark now. I can't see nothing hurting. There's nothing in this thing you're going to hurt. If you know what I'm saying. What, what are you going to hurt? Like, um, if I was going to run a coil for something with no distributor, just some something. You want to see, yeah, it's got fire. I had a positive and a negative, and I hook up my power to the positive and the negative to ground. Does that mean the coil should have spark? Because don't the points closing act as a ground for the coil? No, the I same think idea that, that, isn't the, the, the point. The going, point. The points are for to send the spark to this to each spark plug. That's why it's going to yeah. the distributor, like it, you know, which it technically goes to ground because the spark plug is the grounding procedure of the spark but it makes a spark in the process but it's power going to ground it's like a light bulb won't work unless it's grounded it, it's the power going through to ground yeah. that makes the light go on so the points or the distributor sends out it to the spark plug but the spark plug actually sparks and then the power goes to ground then it comes around again. It sparks. Well, I, I think your your points are ground. Well, I'm talking. But, I'm talking. I'm just only. The I only, know. The only I know. thing I know is that we had we had fire from the coil. It did not start, but we did not have fire coming from the distributor. Once we got fire from the distributor, then then everything worked. So in my, if opinion, I you would have to have the coil sparking before you get the distributor spark. Or I wouldn't go messing with the distributor before I got the coil to. Okay, for me, I, um, but that's up to you. I'm yeah, I, I'm just what I I'm just thinking that the distributor <laughs> here we are trying. The to distributor out. is not sending a ground to the coil, so therefore the coil can't work. I think it's the distributor unit there is not working. There should be no sense, no, no such thing. So as sending, I was going to buy ground. Pump. I know. There's no such thing as sending ground. It's well, ground as soon as you hook ground it on. That's I'm grounded now. Well, right? is it or is it the negative wire has to be grounded? Because we didn't actually try that. That's well, let's one, try that. Yeah, I I need a little wire with two loops that I, no. um, that I can hook up to the negative side of the coil. Okay. Okay. I'll go over and grab a wire. <clears throat>
here's a here's a running out of options. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just keep trying out every option and yeah. go from there. Running out of options. Running out of options. Okay. Uh, it's hard for me to give you advice, but I don't really. You know, oh, I, I know. I know. I'd like to yes, tell you sir. exactly what's going on, but I don't know. So that's not what I want to do. Don't have much for. I'm running out of uh, quick grab. Oh, yeah. I had test patch cords someplace, but I don't know if I'm going to find them. Can you can you put this one on? Well, I'm just looking for a loop. A loop wire. Just wire put a hole. Just, just put a hole in that. Okay. Put a, put a hole in yeah. that. Put a hole in that. I only need one hole. No, just put one hole in. That's a nice wire, though. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> he said it'll be all right when you put a hole in it. That's a nice wire, though. He says. <laughs> yeah, I don't like this kind of stuff. I I like um things working. I, when I hook something up, I want it to work. I don't want to have hey, man, to you got some nice hammers. Hookers. Yes, I have a lot of hammers. You got a nice hammer there, mate. Yeah. Yeah, there, would you? I made this hammer handle. Nice. Hey, look. How good. I had to put epoxy on yeah. it because it mushroomed and uh, that's hardwood. I like anyway, that. I had, but anyway, it worked. Where'd you get a hammer like that, Jimbo? With that on it? Oh, uh, years ago. Years ago. Nice. But that's my favorite one. Actually, I like this hammer the best, but this is the one I always use. Okay. Because the reach is always important. Because mm -hmm. I find the other one, oh, that won't quite reach in around this flange or something. I like, yeah, nice. What are you smoking, a cigar? No, a friend of mine was here and he smoked, he was smoking it. Hey. Um, here's someplace there's a hole. Oh, maybe they're back over there. You want to put a hole in that in? No, I, I got little loops. They're all press on. Why do you just push a hole through that thing? Um, because over here I got... Jim, we've got a cup of coffee today. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be drinking that in a second. Okay. Everybody needs a toothbrush at their workbench. I gotta uh, make two loops. Oh, you're gonna go for it, eh? Um, you see that little crimson tool I got? See a little crimson tool? Want that to you? Yeah. Yeah. We uh, well, it's on there. I okay, that's one end. Did you buy a new battery for the car and it didn't, it didn't fit? Oh, uh, no, that's my motorcycle battery <laughs> that every once in a while I put on charge. It's, uh, yeah, years ago at the Yam Yamaha dealer, they had a KTM there for sale and it had beautiful looking exhaust pipes on it. Two chrome exhaust pipes, and and it was only it was a pretty good price, brand new bike. So I bought it because I liked the looks of the chrome pipes, four stroke, and um, got it home and realized I had electric start, which was a good thing because I'm not good at starting four stroke dirt bikes because they take 
they're not like two strokes, right? They start a little different. Yeah. But anyway, electric start, and I drove it for one one summer off and on, disaster everywhere I went. Uh, I dumped it in a ditch along the side of the highway, right down in over my head, upside down in the swamp, and managed to get the bike out and had to put it on the back wheel, and drain the water out of the exhaust pipe, started it up, and no oil, no water got in the motor. And I got home, and then I was driving a couple more times along the side of the highway, and we're holding handlebars. And then back here in the woods, I got mired in the bushes at nighttime, and <laughs> couldn't get the bike out, and had to leave it there, walk out with a, with my Bic lighter <laughs> in the woods, walking for like a mile. And I, the only thing that saved me was I could hear the traffic on this side, which meant that's where the highway was, so I knew to go this way. And the other thing that saved me from... Uh, instant death was there was no coyotes. I didn't hear any coyotes screaming, so I was safe and anyway. Hours later I finally got home and I never and I never drove the bike since. You you seen a coyote last night you said? No, yes, crossing the road right in front of me, leaving Berwick. Uh going it came across in front of me and de and this was right in town and it was definitely a coyote. And it ran right on the edge of town, actually. Yeah. And it ran across in front of me and on someone's people's lawns in between their house. Wow. By well, itself. Wow, but ca coyotes well, usually aren't by themselves. They usually run in packs. But anyway, I slowed down, but it, there was only just the one. So is this going to work? Well, we'll soon find out. Well, okay. Keep your fingers crossed. Um. Getting tired of hooking it back up again. Well, don't get tired yet. You reached nope. the gun. Okay. Um. We just begun. Maybe I should be uh, tightening these screws up with a wrench instead of just friction tight. I don't know. When you get them right in tight and then turn the wire, they seem to be tight. Like, you know what I mean? Like, how tight? Oh, in, my in, Lord, my, my job didn't work right. I was thinking about that. Okay, Just well, put well, the wire, yeah. Heck with it, put that underneath there like that. You want you want your uh, socket or anything? You got your socket? Might be all right. Yeah, this reminds me of, mm, at least it's not snowing out. Not yet. Okay, so I'm supposed to be able to, I got power, spark, okay, where would be a good ground that I can, that's. Well, that's not it. <laughs> no. cut Pull that, that yeah. cut that plastic back a little bit longer. Sure, <clears throat> sure. Where's that thing at? There? What we need is uh, little patch cords with loopy, hooky things on the end. Yeah. Which I have a set, but I'm... I would have just punched a hole in that thing and then you could have um, screwed it on. I know. But you didn't want to do that. Put it on, well, the other, put it on the other side of the nut. That way there, when you screw it, it goes... Okay, okay. yeah. Just a suggestion. Um... You're getting pissy now, aren't you? No, I'm just going to curl this up a little bit. Good times, good times. Playing with old cars. In the sad part, this is a, what this is the sad part is you're trying that coil that we have no idea if they good or not. Ah, uh, I know. <clears throat> there. Now, if I hold that on ground, huh? right, and I hold this down here, okay, that's. Are you ready? Um, yeah.
No spark. And that's tight. Both those wires there. You would, like that should work. It's brand new. Got both ends on it. Shouldn't it? Yeah. Grease on it. Like, and there's no corrosion in there. Like, that should be working. It's brand new. Yeah. But no spark. I held that on there, which I'm sure would have worked. Um, well, you're going to hmm. have to get something with a little more brains or a little more um, get go on it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I, I know exactly what you're saying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Basically, that's what I would do. Yeah. i get a little more. Yeah. Well, um, it's kind of like um, in some ways I made you look like a fool yesterday. And in some ways you're making me look like a fool today. <laughs> well, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. It's just kind of... There's, there's uh, I'm, I'm just speaking off the top of my head. I don't think either one of us needs any help to make ourselves look like fools. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> um, what, what oh, I, what I, I can show you one thing that does work, though. I can show you one thing that does work. Well, it turns over. Yeah. You know, but what I would say is, what he's talking, just a minute, we'll, 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 we'll do, um, we'll just Google, look at that. We've got one headlight. Oh, we got two. Awesome. <laughs> Cool. She got she got eyes. Um, what we'll do is, me and Joel, I'm gonna probably have to go home and back up on the old toilet, I imagine. But uh, <laughs> but we'll go home and get Jolene to Google um, how to figure how to figure if a coil is good or bad. That would be a start. You mm -hmm. can Google that right on the internet. Google what how to tell if a coil is good or not, and then we'll get a little information, and then we can send you a little information. Okay. Okay, and, and we'll go there that way because I'm sure the computer will tell us, like, you know, like, you, you, you know, like there? the wires coming from the key switch there both had power. Like the test light worked. And I hooked that to the positive side of the coil. It should and work. in one of those combinations, we should have got a spark coming out of that coil. Okay, so. And, but we didn't. You need a coil. Well, how many coils do I need? Before just know I can, yeah, just one that works. Well, maybe there's a chance that both those coils and that one and a couple more I have, maybe they all work, but I must be doing something wrong. Well, but you would think power going to the coil and ground would send it in a spark plug wire, uh, it should work. <clears throat> e. Alrighty, let's do a little information. Yes. Yeah. Well, um, Sooner, may, it probably won't happen today, especially in the next couple of minutes. No one's going to hear this thing running. <laughs> but I'm sure... Oh, it's running. It's just quiet. I'm sure soon. Soon we should like it. Mm. No, no, like, I mean, yeah. Get her when it, when it happens. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, yeah. I've got some stuff. I want to go home and figure it too. I want to lay our air ride system out, and I want me and Jolene to go over it and try to basically get where it's going. We're gonna spend some time on that, see where it's going, where it's at, what happens, and we'll Google your situation. Okay. And uh, Jolene will send you a little information maybe, mm -hmm. and then, then we'll go from there. That's um, all we can do. My confusion has done a complete circle. I'm back to the beginning again, so I'm I'm feeling normal. <laughs> right. I was, like I was getting a little anxious there, thinking that I, may have had a solution but my solution powers has done a complete circle i'm right back to the beginning so uh, it's kind of like i'm open for any suggestion again i have no idea well i hope i didn't mess you up but you tried <laughs> everything that you could try well yeah we have hooked you? up wires yeah. backwards and they still do it well that's what i'm saying like you've got to try it if you don't try it you never you don't know but i no, i i find it hard to believe that no matter how many coils i come up with they're all bad. It's yes. Know what I mean? Like on the six volt systems, so far, any time I've hooked up a coil, if it's gonna work, it works. Yeah. I've never I've never had a coil that I had to throw away because it was no bad. Not no good. Yeah. Yet here I, it appears I have two or three coils here that are <laughs> no good. And I don't really think that's the scenario. All right. I, I don't understand how come uh, it's not working, 
but I, I'm not going to say the coil is no good because it might be. It might be. Right. There's a chance that that coil is no good. Oh, maybe we just tested the coil and the coil is no good. Maybe the reason why it's not working is because the coil is no good. Maybe I should be trying another coil. We tried that one coil every, every way possible to find out it's no good, which means maybe we're smart. Maybe we are testing it the right way, but we're stupid enough that we're going to keep testing it different ways when we've already discovered that there's no spark. This coil is no good. Okay. Throw it in the garbage can. Don't check it again. How Grab much, another coil. How much is a new coil? Um... 20 to 120. Anywhere from 20 dollars to 120 dollars is well, a new coil. Well, okay, but if it's if it's if it's 30 or 40 dollars to have a brand new coil, it'd be worth it, would it not? No. Well, yes. I've never bought a coil. I've always had like I could go and I can go through my junk pile. I know I could probably come up with at least 15 coils. Wow. And I don't think any of them are bad. But I just tested two here, and they're both bad. <laughs> Matter of fact, maybe that's the problem. Maybe that chrome coil is no good, and we're here. Hmm, what's wrong? But maybe the fact is the coil is no good. Maybe, maybe I should be testing another coil the same way on the first way, right? Like right. we tested the wires every which way, but we never changed the coil. Like the black, uh, like the black coil that's in the car, bolted in there. That was like brand new. It looks brand new. It looks brand new, so I assumed it was my best one to put in there, so I put it in. But it's a little job to take it out, you know, but um, that chrome one, I don't know. And I have another one and a couple more, but... Alrighty then. But where we only ran the one coil in our testing, and we test it two or three different ways, and it doesn't work, there's a chance that that coil is no good. Baby, we, we've got a shirt for Jim. Yeah, we do. I forgot to give it to him yesterday. We got a shirt for you. Yeah. Come from Thailand. Huh? Yeah. All righty, let's, yeah. let's rock and roll. I want to go home and get some, some more, play some more stuff on that. We'll Google your situation. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck on uh, <laughs> cleaning things up and making them look good and uh, making them work. And I'm gonna, what I'm going to do but is... But you've got your height, uh, but it just doesn't come up quite as high as you wanted it. No, I've it, but it's not bad or no. The height is perfect. Okay, it's, you've got it down. It goes, it goes, up four inches is enough. It goes down on the bump stops, and it comes up four inches, and it's okay. And when it's down the bump stops, I got this far from the bumper on the ground. Okay, when it and comes up, I got, I got four you're sitting still. Yeah, I've got four inches for come up. I just didn't have the air to pump it up high enough, mm -hmm. so I kind of went through a bunch of foolishness for nothing but that's what happens sometimes if you know what i'm saying like, like you know trying to change the mounts and trying to do like that yeah, like that wasn't it at all i had yeah. all that figured out that's too bad that i went backwards but well when something doesn't work you kind of second it, guess yourself don't you well here yeah you're second guessing yourself sometimes but, yeah right here mm -hmm. and it might be i have two or three bad coils right now yeah and that's the solution is another coil because you have power coming, and I want to talk I about I have power again. going to the coil, so yeah. like the wires. Yeah. I have power on each of those two key wires. So it should be working, but it's not. And maybe, see, if I was confident in knowing that that's the problem, that coil, oh, that coil is no good, and I'd be dropping it in the garbage can, <laughs> yeah, and I'd be trust. grabbing another one. Yeah. Instead, we hooked it up two or three different ways, mm -hmm. and it still doesn't work. But a bad coil is not going to work no matter how, how many times you hook it up. Gotcha. You're hooking up 20 different ways, it's still not going to work. All right. Yeah. Mm. I'll throw that. Be Ooh. going. Well, thanks for your visit, and company, and hospitality. <laughs> well, you know what? I had to come out and see what you got going on there. I seen a picture of the breather and stuff on it. Look, look nice. Looks good. Just get the coil figured out, get the yeah. barn figured out, and I'm sure she'll go. You know? Yeah. She'll go. A little fire and some gas, I guess. Oh, it's warm out today. Oh, man, I'm telling you, you got to turn the heat up in there. Yeah, <laughs> it's warmer out here than in there. It's the way it's been in my mm. shop, too, the last yeah. few days.